My name is Josh Gonzalez. This is a 1951 Chevy pickup 3100. It's a custom build. It took about two and a half years to do. I sent it to my cousin John Ortiz in Rio Rancho, New Mexico to do this build for me. He made my dreams come true. It's an Alice 2 bored out to a 6.2 liter pushing about 500 horsepower and it's a mean machine. The interior was done by Al's Upholstery in Albuquerque and it has diamond stitching and the diamond stitching has some yellow stitching in it that is the hints of yellow that are in the truck featured in the brake calipers as well as in the engine. So the interior also includes air conditioning, power windows, uh, digital Dakota, uh, gauges, push the start button, Apple CarPlay, touch, touch screen CarPlay, and it's got, a, it's got a mean sound system too. Also on the interior, I added some uh, Alcantara in the ceiling. Uh, just like my Maserati, I wanted it to have that luxury feel on the interior and they did some nice touches throughout the door panels as well as in the seats too as well and that was with Al's upholstery. These are American racing wheels that were custom made to fit. They're 22s on the back, 20s on the front uh, with, with a Neato tire on it. So the bodywork was done by Phoenix 505 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It, bottom line was I was looking for two words, sleek and sexy. And those sleek and sexy entailed shaving everything. So I got, I took off the bumpers, shaved the doors, shaved the wiper blades, shaved some of the breathe panels on the side. Uh, everything went sleek and sexy on it and it came out absolutely gorgeous and they accomplished everything I, I, I wanted in it. And the uh, paint color is custom. I, I specifically wanted to get like a milk blue and that milk blue I wanted it to be a flat so there was no shine or metallic to it but it would also change colors in the sun, in the shade and at night. So if you can take a look at it in the sun side and then also look at it on the other sides, you can see the difference in colors, how it darkens and lightens. So inside the bed, I did uh, bed wooden parts and I went for a custom ash that they just, man, they came out and they, they did a fantastic job on it. I also did a custom feature on the back and because everything is shaved, I put some uh, battery ports to charge behind the license plate in the rear. So it behind the rear view camera and the license plate, it flips up. I also did the one the one piece windshield which is very unique to the 51 Chevy pickup. I did single pane windows on the doors. All right, the chassis is a total cost involved chassis. You know, my cousin tells me that's the best, so that's what we went with. And uh, it's it came in, we got it black powder coated and it came out cherry. I'm telling you right now this thing rides like an everyday drive and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be reliable and 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 solid. To get this thing stopped, I went with 14 inch Wheelwood brakes, four, four inch disc on the front and on the back. My plans with this truck are to drive it. You know, it's kind of like my, I like Jordan shoes and nice basketball shoes and I rock them, I wear them. And that's no different than this truck. I'm gonna drive it. I drove it all the way from Gilbert this morning and yesterday as well to and from to this show. And uh, it's one of the things where you're gonna see me out on the street. So if you see me, throw me a thumbs up or shoot me a honk. This is my personal dream right here. This is something that I've been dreaming about with my little boys at night before we say prayer. We roll around the little, the little toy trucks and we would talk about what color would you do and what would you do to it. Well, guess what? This became a reality for me and I am in heaven. It's like I'm an eight-year-old kid on Christmas morning. I begged for that Christmas gift that I knew I wouldn't get because it was too expensive. But guess what? When I walk out there, I see it and all I do is just play with it all day and ignore everyone. This is it for me. So I want to thank John Ortiz for making my dreams come true and to my family for supporting me and making me be able to push me to the top to be able to accomplish my dreams. Thank you.